seven on day three here at Elyon. Talk me through that fast start you had with the birdie on the first. Yeah, it was really nice. Uh, got off to a good start. Yeah, nice. always nice to birdie first. And um, yeah, birdie, I think it seems so long ago now. Then birdie, yeah, five, six. Um, which were two really, six was playing tough with the back pin today. Um, and then sort of a bonus chip in on nine, hit it out the back there, nice chip in there. And um, yeah, I mean, overall, pretty steady round. feel like the course was set up a little easier today, obviously, than yesterday. Um, so you kind of had to had to try and be a bit more aggressive, try and take your chances. Um, didn't quite play the par fives as well as I would have liked, but yeah, I mean, overall, anytime you shoot under par around here, it's, it's pretty good. I say, what did you think the strongest part of your game was? I put it really nice today. Um, finished with a three foot, but in that, um, put it really nice to do nice birdie pods, give myself a lot of chances today, which is good, and try and beat that momentum into tomorrow. As I say, we know that you can come in here on the last day and do a good fun round. What are your plans and expectations? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it all depends on how the golf course is set up. If it's set up like today, you have to go low. If it's set up like yesterday, it's a bit more conservative, so we'll just have to see see what we get tomorrow. But um, yeah, I mean, overall, I feel like it's it's a golf course you have to stay very patient on. There's a lot of bad bounces out there. Um, hit what I thought was the best driver day at down 18 and got screwed with the lie in the rough so um, yeah it's just it's one of those golf courses and you just try and try and stay as patient and try and give yourself as many chances as possible. And the more you play it are you getting used to it or are there still things that happen every year that you're like how did that happen? I think it's still it's Evian's Evian I think you just have to accept that you're going to get bad bounces and bad breaks and you just try and hit as good a shots as you can.